In this demonstration, we observe the effect of concentrated sulfuric acid on the humble toilet roll. Concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent and therefore will remove the elements of water, that is two hydrogens and an oxygen, from molecules. Paper is mainly cellulose, which is carbon and hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of two to one. The removal of the water, H2O, would simply leave behind the black residue of carbon. This is an exothermic reaction. The setup is straightforward. Place a toilet roll onto a tray. Pour a small volume of concentrated sulfuric acid on the toilet roll and stand back. The experiment does evolve sulfur dioxide fumes, so you will need to consider whether you need to do this in a fume hood or in a large well-ventilated laboratory according to local health and safety regulations. This production of sulfur dioxide is a side reaction and so is not shown in the equation in the earlier part of this video. The clear up is straightforward. Pour some water through the toilet roll to wash out and dilute the acid, decant and put the solid waste into a plastic bag, tie up and put into the garbage. Treat the acid as the regulations allow in your area. The normal demonstration of the dehydrating properties of concentrated sulfuric acid is usually with dampened sugar in tubes. And whether this is less predictable in terms of when the reaction starts than with the toilet roll.